Jig Witch. Morning everyone, welcome back to our farm here again today. So today we're finally, hopefully going to get these pins finished. So back to power washing, get everything cleaned off, get everything set back up. So that's just what this week's video I think is going to be all about. So we bring everything out, get it set up and get wired in to power washing. Come with us and join us. Yeah, so gloves, everything set up. Let's turn around and see if she works. <clears throat> Time to get power washing. Let's go. Our wheelbarrow is full, so it's time to move these out the field. Back power washing. Now, another wheelbarrow full, so we'll get these ones out the field and get them put up. It doesn't take long to go through them, it's just that there's so much timber in it. So we are getting there, it's looking nice, so we'll just keep going and we get this finished. So it's finally starting to look the part. Yeah, so that's what we're working on. Working on. We just have all this to get done yet. But we'll get there. Row by row by row, we'll get there. And it'll look perfect once it's all done. So we'll just keep at it, row by row.
So for anyone new to our channel here on YouTube, and if this is your first time coming here to our farm, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It's the only way you'll get to keep up to date on everything that we're doing here behind the scenes on our farm. And for all the people who keep coming back watching the videos, thanks a million guys. So we're back out now for day two. So we'll get wired and knotted now again, and we'll get more rows done. Every row done is a row we don't have to do. So that's the way we're looking at it. So we'll get wired into this now and get this set up now again. So you'll see it stage by stage getting there. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see the whole lot complete and what we aim for it to look like. There's always one that has to fall out. So we're going to go now and put these ones that we've just power washed back up. Then we're going to come and take all these ones down, bring them back in, get them power washed. And bit by bit, we'll get every row here done and complete. So we'll just put these ones up now and that'll be another row done. So we'll bring these ones now out the air just so that they're ready and there for power washing.
So we've all the clean ones back in and all the dirty ones back out. So now we just have to get into power washing these and get another row done. So we've another wheelbarrow full now. So we'll just go bring these out the field, put them up. We still have to get these ones done yet. So we're in the care now on the way to Galway. We're heading to screw fix the shop in Galway because as you can see from the last few clips in the video, we were back to using the old power washer again because the new power washer that we got sprung a big leak in the body of it itself. Water just poured out of it. So we're on the way now to bring that back and hopefully get it changed to another one so we can get back finishing off them boards and get power washing. So we're just stuck in the famous Galway traffic and it's a wet day here in Galway and that always leads to more cars on the road. So we will get there and once we get to screw fix now hopefully we can get to change this power washer and get back home and start to get it moving again. Because they have more traffic lights put into Galway City that it just stops, stops, move, stop again, green light, red light. That quick. So it is it's a hard city to have patience to drive through. We're nearly there, I know, we're nearly at screw fix, so hopefully they can change it and we get to bring home a new one. That's what we're kind of looking for now here and we can get back to work and power washing. Because the old one we have is at the end of its days anyway, but she is old, the old power washer. So that's why we got the new one and that let us down. So hopefully we can get a new one back now and get back to power washing again and get that finished before breeding season. We're just pulling into the industrial estate now here, so let's see if we can find which one of them is screw fix. This is a lot of shops off a road and truck pulls in right in front of me and blocks up everything. Good lad, we can go now. So as far as I can remember, it's on the right hand side now coming through here. So I was wrong, it's on the left hand side. And anyway, we're here. So we're on the way home now with our new power washer. Screw fix were absolutely brilliant to work with and brilliant to deal with. So in, out, got a new one, no problem. So we're on the way home now with the new one to get her wired up now and get back to power washing. So, see you all when I get home. This video is a bit strange. All the bits that you've seen up till now, we kind of took a three month gap now until we finished the rest of it. Because on the farm here, we had lambing season and sheep season and all that comes with lambing. So we were two months fully at that. So then once we took that break, then we were back at power washing and finished this off. So just in case you were wondering, there is a three month gap in between 
the start of this video and the end of this video. So we'll get back at it now and we'll get this finally finished. So we finally got finished with all the power washing and the whole pin now is done and set up. And this is what it all looks like now, all the way down to the end. So it's huge to have the pin looking like that we want it to look like. And everything is done, cleared off, everything is coming up green. I will admit that these plants here are the wrong ones, that they're growing too high. These ones in here are perfect size, perfect length. This size here, we changed seeds. For me, it's just growing too high. So that'll drive me nuts as the summer and autumn go on. But we're stuck with it for this year. So we just have to grin and bear it. We'll change it again next year, but this year it's too late to do anything. So this stage now here is ready for mammies. We have the fence up, everything is up. I have just one little job now left to do. And that job is here. So I need to get pins now because this is all under the ground all the way along here. And this bit now here, I need to get the pins. But it's these pins that I used for this, these ones here, that I just need to get and just put a few down here just to pin that down so snails can't get under it. But I can't find where the ones left over are. I know they're around somewhere, but where I left them up, I can't find them. But I'll keep looking and I'll find them. And once we find them then, get that done. And then we're ready to put mammies into this pin and get this season underway. Finally. This is the favorite time of year when we come into breeding season and we get the tiny babies. Found them. Knew I had them. You know when you finish a job and you have spare ones left over and you go and leave them up somewhere? And then you have no idea where you left them? Found them. So we have our pins now here that were left over from doing the walkways. So we'll just get these now. And we have our hammer. We'll go and put them down now out in the field. And once that's done then it's ready for mammies. It is a simple job, but it's a perfect job because no snail now can go under any of this. And with that fence going all the way along here, they can't go over it either. And this is only temporary anyway, because again, about three months time, we're going to take this row here behind me down and open up all this pin here. You'll see that later on in the videos and when we get to that stage of the season. So job done. So we'll wrap up this video now here for this week. Thanks a million for watching. For anybody that wants to keep up to date on everything that we do around here on the fair behind the scenes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We'll be back again shortly with a new video, which is the most exciting one for us. 
and that will be about getting breeders and finally putting breeders into all the pins. So all the hard work pays off now when it comes to the next stage of finally starting season 2022. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that like button on the way out.